hi everybody welcome to my channel so we're just catching up on the aka case you guys so i wanted to find out what happened today in court and there is an interesting story about what the eight hundred thousand rands uh that they uh, suspect was paid for aka's life uh came from okay there's an interesting story about that eight hundred thousand rands so you guys it was suspected that the uh, mastermind who's not really the mastermind the planner the project leader had received eight hundred thousand rands from somebody and then he had distributed that eight hundred thousand rands to the other guys and each of them got i think it was like a hundred and thirty three thousand rands each just before a aka's life and Dave's life was taken i think the focus is on aka because uh, it is uh, assumed that or believed that they meant to take aka's life not Dave's life so now there's an explanation that they're giving as to where the 800,000 came from because obviously they're not going to say it came from somebody that wanted them to take the life guy aka so it says here aka's court case reveals shocking details this is a story written by umbali lungwana for a daily sign i accused for revealed in court that he received the eight hundred thousand rands on the day uh rep Kinen, aka forbes and dibe lo mutuane better known as thieves were kate 36 year old Devon businessman Temba Kwabeni said he then transferred the 133,000 rands to Lindokul the fifth accused. This was read from an affidavit by his lawyer, advocate Joe Walmarans, in the Devon Magistrate Court on Tuesday, the 19th of March. The five suspects, Lindokulam Kwanazi, who is 30, Lindelani, Ndimande, 30, Sia Namiaza, 22. Muzwe Temba Kwabeni 36, Lindo Gulten Demand 29, who are linked to the murders of AKA Forbes and Dibe Lomotwane, appeared in the Devon Magistrate Court on Tuesday for the hearing on application for bail. They are facing charges of M, attempted M, illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition and money laundering. Listen, you guys, I know someone was asking me earlier on. Why I use the letters instead of the words, you know, sometimes when you say these words too many times on a video, you get a yellow dollar sign. Sorry about that. Kwabeni's affidavit, which was read out by an advocate, Walmarans, further states that the 803000 was paid to Kwabeni by a reputable company that he has done business with before. Walmaran said that the business relationship between Kwabeni and the company that paid him the money dated back three years. In view of my above records, the investigation will show that it was not a once-off payment as alleged. Kwabeni is asking the state to seek to see his bank statement, said Advocate Walmaran. The affidavit also shows that the state is um, is once again relying on coincidences when he claims that he received the 800,000 rands on the day of the murder of AKA and Dibs and transferred the 133,000 to Lindogut demand. The state case is based on circumstantial evidence to support the allegation that led to the arrest. The affidavit Guabeni also, in the affidavit, Guabeni also revealed that the police from the NIU raided his home in uh cow is here in on the 27th of feb to arrest him but he was not at home and he had attended a meeting in lady smith the cops allegedly found his wife and allegedly as her a case of as has been opened Kwabini intends to plead not guilty during the trial fifth accused lindogutlin demande also applied for bail through his representative advocate mlojwa Demand is also self-employed and owns shares in a poultry farm. He also owns taxes under the Milik as a tax association. In his affidavit, Demand stated that at the time of his arrest, he had already made arrangements with his girlfriend's family that a Lobola delegation would meet her family 
over the Easter weekend to pay the 25,000 rands in uh, cash cow and 11 live, live cows. All bail applications have been made. Magistrate Vincent Lajoyo adjourned the matter on the 27th of March uh, to allow the state to respond to the applications. You guys. So here it is. This man is claiming that he is a businessman and this money was paid to him for uh, a business deal that he had done with a certain company. You know, I'm interested to know what company that is, you guys. Who are the directors in this in that company? Who owns the company, you guys? Because that might give us some clues. But basically, that is his explanation. He's saying, listen, it's just a coincidence that on the day that AKA passes, I received 800,000 rents and I was supposed to pay these guys 133,000 rents and I paid that. Okay, but it wasn't for what you think it was for. Anyway, you guys, tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Please like the video before coming on and share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers.